Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to try to figure out why this transformer isn't working. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. All right, so I've got two transformers for landscape lighting around the house. The one on the left works fine. The one on the right is not working. Um, I'm hoping that it's this sensor right here. This is a uh, dawn to dusk sensor and it's old but we're going to try to figure out what's going on with these things all right so we're going to take the cover off of this and certainly unplug it now the i have tested the outlet this just plugs into a regular outlet the outlet works fine the transformer does not and so there's a little panel here yours may be different but there's going to be a way to access the guts inside of here so without the power on, we're safe to work. And up here is a fuse. Push and turn and it comes out. And although it looks, you know, kind of dingy, the element inside is unbroken. So this should be okay. I guess it wouldn't hurt to spend 50 cents and replace it, but it's not broken, so I'm not going to. Okay, so the next thing I would look at would be the, the sensor over here. And you can see that the switch is right here, and the power cord comes in and branches off into this clump of wires. And you've got a, a white, a red, and a black that comes from the switch into the power. And I'm gonna I'm gonna replace that switch. Alright, I'm gonna pull this stuff kinda out. There's plenty of wires. Okay, so two blacks go to this cap, two reds go to this middle one, and two whites go to the far. So it's going to be a matter of removing this nasty tape and replacing wire for wire. I don't think they quite used enough tape. Well. Okay, so I'm going to take each of these apart and see what we have. All right, I'm gonna remove this switch here, and there's a ring on the outside of it that just unscrews. Like so. And this thing should pop out now. Although there's so much garbage inside this little box. Okay. Okay, here is my replacement switch, just like the other one. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put it in yet. I'm going to attach the wire source before I attach it to the box. But it's got, uh, it's got a collar that holds it in, and it's got a, uh, a rubber washer here to keep the weather out. Since the cap is already off of the black one, I'm going to start with the black one. I'm also going to trim this down just a hair because it's pretty long. So one thing I'm going to be doing is replacing the uh, red wire nuts with a more appropriate size. Those are just way, way big for this application. It can take several wires in and we're only screwing two low voltage wires in here. So black's done. Again, I'm going to trim that one a little bit, 
Get the frayed stuff off. Straighten it out. And attach a new one. I'm gonna do that with the other one as well. All right, I've got all three leads attached. I'm now just gonna take some duct tape and wrap the, the wire nut to the wires so nothing moves. I'm gonna do that on all three. Okay, all wire nuts are duct taped together to the wires. I'm gonna remove this retainer clip here and thread this back through the hole so we can see the daylight. Now there's two holes on the side of this box. One was always open. I'm gonna to need to get a, a, a grommet or a cover for the one that I don't use. The old box never had that. And I wanna tuck these nicely back in. No sharp bends, just a gradual curve. And then I can put this cover back on. And uh, finally put the entire cover to the transformer back on. Alright. Alright, so I've got everything back together. I plugged it in and I heard a hum, which is a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and cover my my uh, sensor with a piece of black tape. Here's the, the hole I'm gonna need to get a grommet for. I don't want any weather, rain and stuff getting in there. Here's my duct tape. There's usually a delay on these things of anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, so we'll see what happens. Okay, well this is a good sign, kind of. This broken light turned on. So, looks like the power is restored, but I need to uh, somehow fix the fixture now. More work. Well, I hope that video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.